curling is a strange sport and by saying you play curling that usually grants a lot of interesting questions. Some of the questions are good but more times than not you get the same questions over and over and over and over again. So I present to you now 10 questions you shouldn't ask a curler. But before we start, I just need to kind of set the premise a bit. I've played for, I don't know, two thirds of my life. I've been a curling instructor for hundreds, if not thousands of rental groups. So yeah, I do get the same questions a lot. And uh, of course, I'm always professional. I always answer them with a smile and with happiness, but sometimes I still kind of die <laughs> inside. So. Uh, that's where I'm coming from here, but if you're a curler, I guess that you've gotten some of these questions as well. And if you have never curled before, welcome to you. Uh, here are 10 questions you should not ask a curler. <laughs> because I am here now and I will answer all those questions for you. Sounds fair? Nice. Number one. Is this real ice? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> curling is a winter sport, it is played on ice, uh, they used to play on frozen lakes and the last time I checked lakes were actually water so curling is played on ice. Number two, isn't it cold out on the ice? Well, yeah and no. <laughs> yes it is cold because you know the ice has to be frozen so the ice is below zero or below I don't know what it is in American Fahrenheit but below something but in normal human being temperatures it is below zero and the temperature in the air is normally around four to seven eight degrees normal human being degrees so yeah if you're just standing around for a while you will freeze a lot when I'm an instructor I usually well I, I, I never learn, I never put on enough clothes. I can be wearing like three, four, five layers of clothing and I would still freeze to death. However, when I'm playing, I normally play in a t-shirt because you are physical, you are moving, you are doing stuff with your body, so you will get warm, your body will get warm. But it's still cold out there. Number three. Oh, curling, how cool! Do you have those trousers? That's pants in American. And to be honest, yes, I did. Back when they were popular, back in 2010 after the Olympics, when Team Norway presented the colorful clown trousers. I even played on a team that got like slightly sponsored by Loudmouth, the producer of those trousers. Fun fact time. My team wore these trousers before Team Ulsru did, so they jokingly said, well, I guess we can't use them now, but they did. Back to the question. <laughs> no, I do not wear those trousers anymore. However, those trousers gave curling a lot of attention and I recognize that people think of those trousers when they hear curling. But please, it's been 10 years, things develop. There are more comfortable curling trousers out there now and I choose comfort over style any day, almost. Number four, do you wear skates or a variation? How does it work with the skates? That's a question I've gotten a scary amount of times actually. I get it, when people think of ice they think of skates, and that's how it is I guess. But even during rentals when I, you know, when, when I start I go through some basic rules real quick and I tell them about the equipment like a broom and, uh, you know, shoes and stuff. And even after I tell them how the shoes work, they still ask. Yeah, but what, what about the skates? Isn't it hard? How do you balance on skates? I don't. I use normal curling shoes. <laughs> well, curling shoes aren't normal, but I use curling shoes at least. Because that is what you're supposed to use. Do not ever wear skates on the curling ice. Okay? On behalf of all ice makers in the world, thank you. Number five. Can curling even be called a sport? I get this a lot, normally by, you know, tough dudes like, ha ha ha, I am really good at football. That's soccer for the Americans. 
and all those like tough dudes they usually come like hey how hard can it really be my suggestion to you is try it and you will find out why it is called a sport and how fucking hard it can be that's what she said curling is a sport that basically puts your entire body to work when you're sliding you know that is the act of you know throwing the stone you have to have balance you have to have strength in your legs and your uh, core muscles when you're sweeping, you have to use your arms, your back, your chest. It's a full body workout. It's as simple as that. Thankfully, at the end of a rental session, the people who came and said like, ho, 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 how hard can it be? Is it really a sport? Ho, 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 ho. Uh, they normally approach me and say, all right, I'm sorry. It is much harder than it looks. And that's a fact. It is. Number six. Do you need to bring your own stones? No. No, you don't. Each stone weighs just under 20 kilos. There are 16 stones in like a set of stones, 8 red, 8 yellow, or 8 of each color, which with really quick mats would give me just below 320 kilos per, you know, set of stones, all 16 combined. Each club or rink have stones, and those are the stones we use. Number seven. I was a bit unsure whether or not I should put this in, but I decided to do it because I get this question a lot, actually. Uh, so, yeah. Before I just, you know, ask the question, we need some context here. Some years ago, here in Norway, uh, a movie was released called Kong Curling, or King Curling. Briefly mentioned it in my last video, so check that out. Which is a movie about curling, obviously. The main character, the main character, is loosely, very loosely based on Paul Trulsen, the 2002 Olympic gold medal skip, and the character's name is Truls Poulsen, loosely based on Paul Trulsen, and his name is similar. So, to the question. I normally get this question by people who have uh, watched curling, you know, even if it's just like one match during the Olympics back when. But the number of times I've gotten the question, oh, so you know Truls Poulsen then? Is mind blowing. And just to answer that question, no, I do not know a character from a movie. However, yes, I do know Paul Trulsen. So now you know. To be honest, I find it kind of cute when they ask about that, because it shows that they are slightly interested in curling at least, and they just got the names mixed up. But as I mentioned, the number of times I've been asked about the character Truls Poulsen over the actual person Paul Trulsen is... <laughs> fascinating to say the least. Number eight. This one is... well... one of those... Haha... <laughs> Haha, <laughs> you're a funny guy. <laughs> like I die a little on the inside kind of questions. So, where's the vacuum cleaner? Ha ha ha! Good times were had by all, except me, who hate that question. <laughs> yes, you sweep the ice with a broom and it is house cleaning things. Haha, <laughs> it is very funny. Where's a vacuum cleaner? Yeah, I get it. It's a joke about cleaning stuff. You are super funny. Haha, <laughs> I'm still here being polite and smiling and laughing like, haha, <laughs> that's a new one. Never heard that before. <laughs> you are not funny. Please do not ever ask about the vacuum cleaner. We've all heard it more than once. Number nine. Oh, curling. How cool. Uh, are you the one throwing the stone or the one sweeping? Yes. Yes, I am. If you stumble across this video and you're curious about how curling works, two teams against each other, four players on each team, each team have eight rocks or stones, 8 divided by 4 players is 2, meaning that each player plays 2 stones. 2 players sweep and then they kind of switch. This is very, very quickly explain how curling works. So, am I the guy who delivers the stone or the guy who sweeps? Yes, I do both because that's how curling works. Here in Norway at least, when I get that question, 
it is normally by people who like have heard about curling and have like a grasp of what it is but still don't know too much so they're not too familiar with terminology so instead of asking are you the guy throwing the stone or the sweeper they try to you know show it with like mimes of sorts like are you the one or the one it's slightly adorable and slightly creepy because it looks like they're having a seizure. Number 10. This is this one is also more of a statement more than a question. Oh, you play curling, how cool. I bet your house is super clean. <laughs> I am really funny. Who came up with that question on the spot? <laughs> I just normally answer with like uh, you know how chefs and cooks when they go home after cooking all day. They don't spend two hours making a fancy meal. They just order a pizza or, you know, cook some pasta and that's it. So why should I do my job, which is sweeping and obviously keeping things clean? At home all the time when I do it on the ice all the time, you know? See, when I give that kind of semi-serious answer to that very funny question, they normally go like, oh yeah, haha, I guess you're right, yeah, haha, oh that's a dumb question, haha, yes it is, it's a very dumb question, <laughs> you're right, yeah, haha, yeah. And you know what, let's just throw in one, maybe the worst of them all, the worst question you can ever possibly ask a curler. This is actually the worst. I just want to face palm and it makes me cringe every time. Oh, curling! I guess that a lot of women play curling because, haha, <laughs> you know, sweeping and housework, haha, <laughs> Oh, we're having a jolly good time here, haha, <laughs> I'm so funny, being sexist and all. No. You know what, I, I have a very broad sense of humor, some might even say a dark sense of humor, which I guess is fine for me, but even I won't crack a smile when I hear that one. I just kind of brush it off with like, yeah, no, here in Norway we have like three ladies teams and that's it. We are far more male players than female players. And they're like, oh yeah, uh, uh, yeah, hmm. all right, good to know. A very, very good advice for me, do not be the guy who asks that question. So that was 10 plus questions you should never ask a curler. We've heard them all before, you are not funny, but then again, don't get me wrong, do not ever be afraid to ask questions about curling. All curlers I know, and I know quite a few curlers, uh, love to answer curling questions, even I do, except those I've just mentioned. I do not like answering those, but I will answer them with a smile, if they are asked, but I will die on the inside as well. So to any curlers out there, what is your least favorite question to be asked? Tell me down in the comments below and I'm sure we'll have something in common. <laughs> so that's it for now I guess, uh, I will see you again next time. But if you don't want to wait until next time you could always watch uh, that video or this video. Uh, and the time until the next video will feel a lot shorter because you know you will spend time watching those two videos and maybe even more. Yeah, you go do that. And I will see you again soon.